Yeah, last time there was afternoon Bledisloe Cup action at the Cakes. Was it at Wellington? John Eels? John Eels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Craig yeah. Dow gave the pin. Yeah. Meal. John Eels. <laughs> oh. Yep. Um, it's a hell of a kick, too. Imagine that, a lock. You oh. know, Sam Whitelock was talking about it today at the press conference and, you know, just saying, I'm not putting my foot anywhere near a ball. Yeah, I've, you seen, know, Sammy kick. I've seen Sammy kick. He can't kick, man. <laughs> no doubt about it. He can win a line out, though. He can, though. <laughs> he can have a ruck. <laughs> yeah, and that's an important point, isn't it? Um, the All Blacks this year have got quite a different looking line out. Kieran Reid was a master of the line out. Brody Italic's not there. Scott Barrett's unavailable at the moment, although he was in camp today doing a little bit of work. He's here for a couple of days. Um, what does the All Blacks line out look like? How, well, how does it get formed? Well, I, you're right. Kieran Reid was the, I suppose, the master of the line out and the calling and, and probably rejuvenated that role of number eight um, as a jumping option and, and controlling and organising that. that. So, they, look, there there will be a big shift. They didn't operate as well as they probably liked last year. Look, I had a quick look at their stats, and they operated at 86%, uh, whereas the Wallabies operated at 93%. And in the last three tests that the Wallabies have had, they've operated at 100%. So the, the, the Wallabies have got quite a sharp, but they've lost those three, I think, three of the four World Cup locks. But they've still got Rob Simmons there, who I think is their general. Waratah's line-outs exceptional so that, that, that it's an area of the game that I've been pretty dominant um and you know for a long time but I'll, I'll be interested to see if they have a change of mindset maybe a bit more quick throwing under Dave Rennie you know that's something that he really liked um mm. from the Chiefs and then the All Blacks for me it, it, Sam Whitelock's just I mean Bryn you'd know like he's he's a student of the game he's a student of the yep. line out I, I think yep. he becomes the key cog to the success and a guy that I've thrown a lot to, uh, we speak about jumping number eights, I, I'd say is one of the best line-out options I've thrown to in my career is Hoskins Satuta. He's so light on his feet. Um, he's explosive in the air and his ability, and it's, it's not, it's the finishing of it. When he gets the ball, he rips it out of the air and, and you know, it's it's the delivery to the nine, all those little things mm. um, he, he really nails. But he, it, he's not light, but he's, like when you lift him, he just feels light and he just yeah. shoots up in the air. And mm. um, I think he could play a big role, a big role because yeah. he's a little bit of an unknown, but we used him a hell of a lot in the Blues mm. as, as one of our options. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for Paddy as well, I think. You know, yeah. a guy that's, um, that's played a lot of footy and you know, had a great season for you boys when it came to leadership and playing a footy jip. But, you know, with the likes of Scooter being out and, um, and Brody not being there, I think it's just a great opportunity for Paddy to really come in there and dominate with, with Sammy and having that combination. Because he's going to get a lot of time with it, obviously, with a couple of guys out. So, um, yeah, you know, I think, he's... Will, will he look um, at doing that defence role, you know, like uh, understanding and, and running the defence? I'd say normally mm. they seem to, they're like Romano's done it in the past. You yeah. know, you'd, you'd love to think, like you say, he grabs the ball by the horns. He's probably not going to, you know, I know that for a fact he'd love to sit at the back of the all back lineup and, and call for them, no doubt. But, yeah. White Lock's probably got that role there. So mm. it'll be interesting to see if he, you know, takes on that leadership role, I suppose, of that defensive yeah. line-out. Because we've just spoken about um, how successful the Wallabies line-out has, has been um, yep. over the last few years. I think that can play a big factor because of the turnover ball and, and I suppose, the New Zealand's mindset uh, to attack off turnover ball is so crucial. Mm. No, I, I agree, Matt. I think um, you'd have a lot more, more intel around... If Petty would be able to I'd be up for that job, but I think oh, if he, I just look at yeah, if I just look at his leadership, mate, and where he's come, mate, I think um it'd be a challenge that he would be really looking forward to, I'd presume. Yeah. I think the beauty of it is that he he's he's gonna be the more senior yeah. guy True. in there now, you know, because cause you you've spoken about the guys that aren't gonna be there. So mm. it's almost like, you know, the world, and because he's had such a successful year and he's got that confidence, I think he'll he'll really come out of his shell. And yeah. and this will be the All Black season that you remember mm. Patrick Tupelo kicking on. Yep. And it's the time to do it, isn't it? You know, he has the opportunity this year. We know that Brody will be back. You know, we know that Scott Barrett is an outstanding athlete and a very mm. good rugby player. Um, yeah. If he is going to take his place right now, is the time to do it because it might not ever happen again. I think, yeah, I just think he's he's ready for it. And I think if you look at this year and, you know, he got rewarded with the captaincy in that North versus South game. And I think it just shows the the direction and I guess the leadership qualities that he has had and where he's come in the last 24 months. So, you know, I think he's been there for a while. I know he's been there for four or five years. He's been 
Um, playing well at Super Rugby, their leadership qualities has just gone to the next level. Like Jip will know, been here with this whole year and, and his last 24 months at the Blues. But yeah, I think it's time for Petty. I really I do. Think, I think it's time for him. I, I, I really... agree. I think it changed for him the Wallabies test at Eden Park when he went 80 minutes, I'm pretty sure. And, and they, they came out, I think Nick Gill came out and said they've changed his nutrition or his game day nutrition. Mm. Um, mm. And I spoke to him about that earlier in the year. I said, what, you know, what was it that changed? And it wasn't anything drastic. It was, um, I think he's added in like squeezy gels at half time and stuff. So there's, there's that spike for him to really finish games off well. And he said it just made a huge difference for him. Mm. Um, so I think, yeah, I, I think he's, he's made that step of like, okay, he's a serious all black starter. And now it's like, he's, he, he could potentially come out the end of this season and, and be a, a, a leader, you know, an all black, a, a all black leader and, and running, running the cutter in there. 